What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're going to be going over the best 50 tips and tricks for your new Samsung Galaxy A13. We have researched and tested many tips and tricks and features for the Samsung Galaxy A13. And in this video, we have reviewed the best ones just for you. Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that is something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's also going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we talk about in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first up, we're going to have how to get the smoothest display. So one of the features of this new device will be the 90Hz refresh rate and in order to enable it, you're just going to have to head to settings and then go down to display. Right here in display, you're going to select motion smoothness to adaptive. Then we're going to have how to customize the call backgrounds and you can also change the call background even using an animated video. And it's pretty simple, all you have to do is open up your dialer app and then you're going to tap on the three dot menu right here on the top and then you're going to select settings. Here you're going to select call background and select the background that you would like to use. Next we're going to have how to customize the clock style. So the clock on the lock screen can be easily customized to your own preference and to do it you're just going to have to head to settings then you're going to select lock screen and then you're going to select clock style. Here you're going to choose from all the different options to your favorite to put on the lock screen. Then we're going to have lock screen widgets and if having them in your home screen wasn't enough you can now have them in the lock screen as well. To enable the widgets just head over to your settings and then you're going to go on lock screen. Here you're going to select widgets and you're going to select a widget of your choice. After that, enable the toggle next to it to show it on your lock screen. Then we're going to have the one-handed mode and this new phone gives you the one-handed mode which is basically in case your hand can reach to any of the top places of the phone. To enable it, you just have to go to advanced features, inside settings and then you're going to toggle the switch next to one-handed mode. You can now set the trigger for this depending on the navigation bar style that you use. You can also customize your photo formats and honestly if you want to save space on your phone it makes only sense to save the photos in HEIF which stands for high efficiency image file. Then videos in HEVC format. And these files allow your phone to capture photos and videos that are considerably smaller than conventional JPG photos. To make this change, you're just going to head over to your camera settings and right here in the settings, you're going to have the option to turn on the HEIF pictures. You can also customize the ratio of your photos and to do this, you just have to head over the camera app and you're going to tap the ratio icon right here and you're going to select your preferred ratio. You can also customize the shutter button and whenever you slide the shutter button on the camera, you'll have an action being performed when you do it. If you want to customize it, just head to the camera settings and select the swipe shutter button. You can also apply the 10 times zoom and in order to use the maximum level of your zoom, you just have to head to the camera and then select the photo. Slide the leaves all the way to the left and right here as you can tell you'll be able to select your preferred zoom option. You can also do the burst mode and to do this just press the shutter button and slide down. And if you want to quick record, you just have to hold the shutter and then slide to the side. You can also take pictures from a video and all you have to do is go to the video section and start recording. Right here on the bottom right corner, you're going to see the camera icon. So you just press on it and that will take a picture for you. You could also remap the volume keys and to do this, you just have to go to settings and then accessibility, advanced, side and volume up. And right here, you're going to select whatever choice you want to choose. Then we're going to have how to customize the side key. And to customize your side key, all you have to do is head to your settings and then you're going to go to advanced features. Right here in advanced features, we're going to have the side key that we can press on it. And we're going to select if we want to quick launch camera or maybe open an app. Then you can also use the double tap to wake and to do this you just have to head to settings and right here on advanced features you're going to go to motions and gestures. And right here you're going to select double tap to turn on or off the screen. 
Then we're going to have the quickly accessibility widget options. To do this, basically, you just have to go to a preferred app and if you long press on it, you're going to be able to see if this app has a widget that you can add to your home screen. You can also zoom in with volume controls and to do this, just open up your camera once again and you're going to go to the camera settings. Right here on the camera settings, all you have to do is head all the way down to shooting methods and right here you're going to select the press volume keys too. Once you do that, you're going to have an option that says zoom in or out. Then if you want to temporarily mute your phone, you just have to pull down the quick settings and it's very simple. You just have to swipe down from the top of the screen twice and right here you're going to have the volume or the audio icon. If you press on it, you're going to put it on vibrate or you can just mute it temporarily as well. If you want to switch between two most recent apps, you just have to double tap the three bar that is right here in the bottom of your navigation bar and that's going to help you jump between the apps on your phone. You could also use pin windows and to do this, you just have to head to your settings and then you're going to go to biometrics and security. Right here, you're going to go all the way down to where it says other security settings and select pin windows. You can do the multitask switcher and also the app icon. If you want to add a password on the pin windows, you just have to go to the pin windows option that we were talking about before and then you're going to select ask for a pattern and this will put a lock on your pin windows. You're also going to have the multiple password options and in order to protect your phone, you just have to head to your settings and go to biometric and security. Right here, you can choose if you want to get the facial recognition or the fingerprints. If you decide to go down the route of fingerprints, you can also do multiple fingerprints. Right here, you can see that we can add more than one fingerprint and I totally recommend it to you because you don't know which one will be easier to use when you're unlocking your device. If you want to customize the home screen, I'm going to show you three tricks in one. Basically for the layout, you just have to long press on the empty space of the screen and you're going to head to the home screen settings. For tip number 25, you're going to have the home screen layout. For 26, you're going to have the home screen grid. And then lastly, you're going to have the app screen grids. All of this is going to help you customize your home screen depending on the size that you prefer to have on your screen. You can also change the name on your phone by just heading to your settings. And right here, you're going to go all the way down to where it says about phone and then customize the name. If you'd like for your device to live to wake, you just have to head to your settings and right here, we're going to go to advanced features. Once again, we're going to go to motions and gestures and we're going to select live to wake. You can also add contact information and to do this, you just have to go to your settings and go to lock screen. Here you're going to see an option that says contact information and honestly, you can just put whatever you want and that will show up on your lock screen. If you want to use the flash notifications, you just have to go to your settings and you're going to go to accessibility. Right here in accessibility, you're going to head to advanced settings and you're going to select the flash notifications and you're going to have a full menu to customize. As far as the brief pop-up notifications go, you just have to open up your settings and then select notifications. Right here, you're going to select the brief pop-up notifications and that would be pretty much it. You can also activate the edge panels and to do this, you just have to go to your settings and then display. Right here, you can activate the edge panels and then you're going to go to this menu right here where you can also customize it as well and decide how you want it to look. You could also check the visibility enhancements and for this trick, let's go to settings and then accessibility. Here we will see visibility enhancements and this will let you play with the contrast of fonts and then buttons as well. And if you want to activate TalkBack, which is basically going to read the whole screen for you and will change the way you navigate on your phone, all you have to do for it is head to your settings. And right here in settings, we're going to go to accessibility and we're going to select the TalkBack. If you wish to rotate your landscape mode, you just have to go to your settings. Then you're going to select the home screen and you're going to rotate to landscape mode. Next up, I'm going to show you how to use the split screen and all you have to do is open up the multitask menu, which means tapping on the three bars right here at the bottom and you're going to open up one app. Then you're going to go to the multitask and select split screen, which will let you open up two apps at the same time. We're also going to have bright swipe and when you go to the quick settings by swiping once, you won't really see the brightness slider bar, but when you swipe twice, you're going to see it. 
So if you want to customize this, you're just going to swipe and head to the three dots right here on the top and select Quick Panel Layout. Here you're going to select Brightness Control and you're going to choose Always. You could also play with your four volume values and when you turn the volume down, you will see this bar right here and you can notice that it has three dots on the top. So if you tap on it, you will see all the four categories of volumes that you can customize separately. Then we're going to have dark mode and the dark mode is a really important since it can save your battery life and also it's going to help you to adjust your eyes if you're in a dark area and the phone is too bright for you. To activate it, you just have to head to your settings and then you're going to go on display and select dark. Now I'm going to show you how to block any phone number and basically if you want to block or blacklist any phone number on your Samsung Galaxy A13, all you have to do is open up the phone dialer app and you're going to tap on the three dots at the top right corner of the screen. Then you're going to tap settings to open it and you're going to tap on block numbers. Right here you're going to add the number or enter the phone number that you want to block and you're going to tap on the plus symbol and that would be pretty much it on how to block or also blacklist any phone number. And also if you want to change your language, all you have to do is head to your settings app and you're going to go to general management. Right here you're going to go to language and right here you're going to select add language, then you're going to select any language that you prefer to have on your phone. Now all you have to do is tap on set as default button and that's it. And if you want to find out the phone IP address on Samsung, all you have to do is tap on your settings and we're going to go to about device. Right here you're going to choose your device and select the status to find IP address. Now I'm going to show you how to find the IMEI number. And to do this you just have to tap on your settings to open it, then you're going to go on about device. Right here you're going to select status to find IP address and you're going to see it as well. Now I'm going to show you how to perform a soft reset and if your Samsung Galaxy A13 is stuck or frozen, you can perform a soft reset operation and to do this all you have to do is press the power and volume down buttons and then tap on the power off button and confirm. After that just wait a few seconds and then switch on the device by pushing the power key for a couple of seconds and your phone should be totally fine. Then we're going to have the eye saver mode. And if you're spending a lot of time in front of the screen, then you should consider turning on the eye saver mode on your Samsung Galaxy. This mode will reduce the emission of the blue light from your screen and reduce the strain on your eyes. For this, just head to settings and select the display area and then you're going to head to blue light filter or just the eye saver option. If you don't know how to take a screenshot, all you have to do is press and hold the volume down and the power button for a few seconds as well and let go. If you want to start the screen recording on your phone, all you have to do is swipe down to open up the quick panel. Next, you're going to click on the three dots and pick the edit buttons. Otherwise, you can swipe left and press on the plus icon and find the screen recorder on the available buttons and then hold screen recorder. Just drag and drop the screen recorder to the quick panel and then press done. Now lastly we're going to have how to change the wallpaper and to do this you just have to head to settings, you're going to go to wallpaper and then pick lock screen, home screen or both. Alright everyone so that was it for today's video, if you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video and as always I'll be seeing you in the next one.